Welcome to Scotland, Heartbox subscribers. My name is Charles Dixon Spain, and I am the project manager, owner, and restorer in chief of Dunn's Castle. And through this video, I hope to introduce you to the new title that you have received. Now, while I'll go on to explain the benefits and the frequently asked questions that you'll have uh, as new lairds and ladies, I thought I might first introduce you to the project that you're supporting with your new title. Dillon's Castle burnt down in 2001. And in 2003, myself and my wife, Sadie, purchased it with the intention of restoring both the house seen here to the left and the castle itself, which had no roof. What we quickly realized was that we were gonna need some help. And because lots of people were turning up and asking what we were going to do, we decided to make a community. And that community is now made up of 300,000 lairds and ladies from all over the world. And you're now part of that wonderful community. So far, lairds and ladies have financed through the Scottish Laird project all sorts of improvements, one of which you can see behind me, which is the repointing of a listed Dillon's Bridge, which was actually made by Thomas Telford in 1815. Indeed, in 2019, we got some volunteers to help us repoint this arch, which you can see as I pan up. And as I walk away from the bridge itself, you'll see just quite what a huge task it represents beautiful isn't it now every April to November we run tours through the grounds to introduce our lads and ladies both to the project and also to their square feet because every single square foot is marked by a GPS coordinate and when you get your deed you can use the plot number to actually find out where in the grounds your square foot is you might find that on your square foot, you find a butterfly orchid or several butterfly orchids. Or even, he says, a massive Scots pine. Or it could be that your square foot is infested with beautiful bird's foot trefoil. And of course, many of our square feet that our lairds and ladies have rights to call their own, have a view of the castle. As we walk along the Haha, -ha, as many of our tours do, in fact, all of our tours do, you'll see the challenge that presents itself with the ruined castle. And that is what your title is primarily going to contribute to. The castle is in a cleared out state now and we're about to do some consolidation works. Those works will be financed in a great part by all the contributions made by our lairds and ladies. Not only that, within the next two to three years we shall be roofing the entire structure and we couldn't have done any of it without our lairds and ladies. The smaller part of the castle is a house and that was first marked on maps in 1590. The larger, grander shall we say, Victorian edifice was built in 1864 and there you can see right at the top is the bow and arrow insignia of the Fletcher clan, the clan that built Dunnans. So now you're asking what happens when the castle is restored and when is it going to be restored? Well to answer the last we're hoping for 2025. And to answer the first, well, that's where you come in again. Because of course, what we plan to do is open it for lairds and ladies to come and stay. And the idea is that once we have roofed it and fitted it out, there will be six apartments in which lairds and ladies can come and stay and enjoy their contribution to what will be a vibrant, and beautiful restoration project. And not only that, of course, there is going to be a room in that castle which celebrates all our lairds and ladies. 
we shall have a record of all the names of those people who've helped us with this fabulous project. The other thing, of course, is that you will have earned yourself the right to wear the Dunnan's Rising Tartan. The Tartan, Dunnan's Rising, was registered in April 2013 and incorporates all the colours of the grounds. As you will see as, as we've walked round, green is a major part of that. But blue for the river and magenta for the rhododendrons and a bit of grey for the castle finish off what I think is a very striking tartan and can be seen all over the world worn by lairds and ladies at Cayleys and parties and special occasions. It's your tartan because you have helped restore the castle and that is the only qualification. It's not a clan or a family, it is the community of lairds and ladies. Now often folks ask, well what can I use my title for? Well, it's a decorative title. It's meant as a gift. It's meant as a fun thing which supports uh, the restoration of the castle. But we have heard of lairds and ladies in Australia and further afield uh, who have managed to put the title on their passports, driving licenses. But it does depend upon the issuing authority and we have no control over that whatsoever. Now, what happens when you visit the castle? Well, uh, because all visits are by appointment, you are met at the gate by Gordon, our tour guide. And Gordon will take you on a 45 minute to an hour tour around the grounds. And that will take in the bridge, the castle, of course, the tallest tree in the UK once was in 2009. No longer, unfortunately, but he'll tell you more about that later. And Gordon will also show you where your square foot is. Now, if you have a partner who is not a laird or lady, that's fine. They can come too. We're very happy to welcome everyone. And we can also cater for those people who don't want to go on our free tour, which is Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays at midday. You can book your own special tour on Thursdays and Saturdays as well. So... When you've unwrapped your title, when you've toasted yourselves and your contribution to Dunnans, and once you've got used to, though one can never get used to, your decorative title, I'm gonna ask you to do one thing, and that is to plan your visit to Dunnans, to this glorious place which we are restoring and which will become over the years a fantastic venue for all those people who've supported us over the years. If you would like to know more about your title, about how to visit or even how to stay, please visit www.scottishlaird.co.uk. You'll find everything you need to know there. You can of course also email us at help at scottishlaird.com and we will be delighted to get in touch and to answer any of your queries. We hope to see you at Dunnan soon. Many thanks for watching. I've been Charles Dixon Spain, and this is Dunnan's Castle. <laughs>